Hi, this is the second video of the Hardstyle Gated Kick tutorial. If you haven't watched the first video make sure you do. Okay. So in this video I'm going to show you three of my favorite reverb plugins. I will discuss about all the parameters which is essential. Alright, let me show you my favorite reverb plugin. It's a stock effect. You will find it in Ableton and it's called Hybrid Reverb. The best thing about this reverb plugin is that it can give you a blend between convolution reverb and algorithmic reverb which is really unique. It can do some crazy reverb things like shimmer too. You should definitely try it on different things. Let's see things in action. If you are using this plugin to make your gated kicks, you can put the EQ section to sleep. I would recommend you to use it in serial or parallel mode. These two modes will give you the best results. Use the blend knob with care. Talking about the bass multiplier knob, you can put it to maximum but I would recommend you to set it by your taste. Although I set it mostly all the way to max. Talking about the decay time. You can go for a long decay time. That's it for hybrid reverb. Listen carefully to the changes in the reverb signal as I move different parameters. Let's talk about our second reverb called Valhalla Room. It's an algorithmic reverb and this can be a good option too. Though it is not as versatile as the hybrid reverb but it can do the job. The parameters here are mostly the same. For this plugin, I would recommend you to use the late size and early size the most along with the depth slider. After setting these sliders, you can play with the bass multiplier and high multiplier. Okay, so our last OG reverb plugin is Waves H Reverb. This is literally the showstopper here. The reverb signal sounds really full with this plugin. When you open this reverb, I would recommend you to simply turn off the input echoes and the output echoes. The most important section here is the decay envelope. Play with it. Other than that, you should play with the buildup, size and ER tail knobs. And lastly this is one of the reverb plugins in which I love to use the pre-delay knob as it can be synced. Listen carefully to the changes in the reverb signal as I move different parameters.
This is it for this video. In the next video, we will use hybrid reverb to make our gated kick. If you liked what you saw consider liking it. It shows that you appreciate what I do. Comment whatever you didn't understand and I would love to answer. Lastly, subscribe.